What's up everybody? Jesse here with VMP Performance and today we're going to show you our new fuel rail kit for your 2018 plus Mustang GT. This kit is going to work with your 2018 manifold or any other aftermarket manifold and allow you to run a fuel system with your boosted car. This is going to work with turbos, centrifugal superchargers, anything like that that does not involve replacing the manifold. So let's walk through the kit. Now involved in this kit is going to be our 8AN feed fuel rails. It's going to have a fuel rail block that lets you adapt to the fuel rail pressure sensor and the factory feed line on an 18 Mustang. You have a crossover, you have your Fergola fittings that we use. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a set of FIC 1000s. This also comes with fuel rail spacers if you need it. It does require fuel rail spacers to run our fuel rails on a 2018 manifold. Aftermarket manifolds may not require the spacers. All right, so we're just gonna do a quick bench top assembly for you so you can see how the system fits. We're gonna start by taking the fuel rail pressure sensor out because we will need that for this system. Now when this is on the vehicle, if you have recently run the vehicle, there will be fuel pressure in the system. You're gonna to wanna to cover these so you don't spray fuel in your face. Now that that sensor is out of the way, obviously we're gonna unbolt the rail and we're gonna remove the rail with the injectors. We're not gonna be reusing any of these components. Now that the rails are off and we have our fuel pressure sensor, we're gonna do some assembly on the rails and then we'll assemble them on the manifold. Okay, so we're gonna start with the passenger side fuel rail. You're gonna grab one of the fuel rails, you're gonna grab a 90, the crossover pipe, a 180 degree fitting, and a fuel barrel. Everything else we're gonna set aside for now. That's gonna be part of our driver side fuel rail assembly. You're going to take the supplied packet of super lube. You want to make sure that all of your fittings are lubed up so that you do not tear the O-rings on assembly. You're going to install the U on the front of the rail. That's gonna be a 10 AN wrench. I'm just gonna snug these for now and when they're installed, we'll retighten everything. On the other side of the U, you'll take the fuel barrel. And you're gonna install that hand tight. And you're good to go. On the back of the rail, We'll take our 90 degree fitting. Install this. This is going to be an 8 AN. You're going to want to angle the fuel fitting upwards and this rail is assembled. Now we're gonna move on to the driver's side rail. Now we're gonna take our extra fuel rail. We're gonna start by assembling the fuel block and we'll assemble this onto the rail. Again, you wanna make sure you have ample lubrication on your O-rings. Install that on the front of your rail. It's going to be a 10 AN fitting again on the 180. And then we're going to take the fuel block. You're going to install the pressure sensor on the back side, your feed into the rail. So we're going to install it this way.
Now that that's assembled, we can install the 90 degree on the back of the rail. We're gonna use our 8AN wrench to tighten this. And now on this fitting is gonna be dependent on your setup. If you're using the stock fuel system, you're gonna install this adapter with the O-ring and the fuel barrel. These will go right here and you'll be able to attach your factory feed line right here to the fuel rails. If you're using a fuel system, you can attach your 8AN line straight to the block with the provided 8AN fitting. You will not put the O-ring on if you have an 8AN line going to it. We're gonna leave these off for now and assemble it on the manifold. Before we move on, we're gonna grab the fuel rail pressure sensor, put the supplied copper washer on, and install that into the back of the fuel block. We're gonna make sure this is nice and snug with our one and one sixteenth wrench. And then we're ready to install our injectors and then get our fuel rails and our crossover installed on the manifold. So for this demonstration, we're using Fuel Injector Clinic FIC 1000s. These do come with the hats on them to extend. You will need the hats if you're using fuel rail spacers with the 18 manifold and our fuel rail kits. So we're gonna leave the hats on. We're gonna take some of our leftover super lube, lube up our O-rings on both sides. And we're gonna install all eight injectors in the manifold. We'll do the same thing on the other side and then we can install our fuel rails. Now that our fuel injectors are installed, we're going to install our fuel rails. It's gonna be real important that you put the spacers down before you install the rails. That way you don't drop them and have a bad time trying to find them. Now that the spacers are down, we're gonna take our driver's side rail. We're gonna slide it down onto our injectors that have been lubed with the Super Lube. And we're gonna take our supplied bolts and make sure they slide into the spacers. Seat the rails all the way down and then you can tighten these on the car. Now that the driver's side is assembled, we can install our passenger side rail. We're gonna follow the same technique. We're gonna put the spacers down and then we're going to install the rail. Install our supplied bolts. Tighten these and then we can install the crossover. Now that the driver's side is assembled, we can install our passenger side rail. We're gonna follow the same technique we're gonna put the spacers down, and then we're going to install the rail. Install our supplied bolts. Tighten these, and then we can install the crossover. Now that the fuel rails are installed, we're gonna move on to our crossover tube. You're gonna install these onto the 90 degree fittings that we installed in the backs of our fuel rails. Start on one side, route it over the solenoid for the IMRCs and attach it to the other rail. Once this is all in place, you're gonna use your 8AN wrench and snug everything up. You're gonna go over the whole system 
verify that everything is tight so you will have no leaks. And then you can move on to attaching whatever fuel system you have to the fuel block. Now, depending on the fuel system you have in your vehicle is going to determine this next step for you. You're gonna start by installing this fitting that lets you attach an 8AN line to the fuel block. You're gonna get this in place. Take your 8AN wrench and make sure that that is tight. And if you're running a fuel system, you'll attach your 8AN line directly to this. If you are running the factory fuel system with E85, pump 93, you're gonna take this O-ring, slide it over the fitting, then you're gonna take the fuel barrel supplied in the kit, thread it right over that, and make sure that that is hand tight. Once this piece is on, you can attach your factory fuel feed. You're gonna plug in your pressure sensor, and then you are ready to go. All right, so that is our fuel rail kit for your 2018 plus Mustang GT. Again, this is gonna fit your stock manifold cars, turbo cars, centrifugal superchargers, things like that. If you're interested in this kit for your vehicle, if you're interested in install for your vehicle, feel free to hit us up at vmpperformance.com. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.